All right, we are live, everybody. Welcome back to Knuckles Family Friend Podcast. We discuss discuss things all pop culture, whether that's video games, anime, comics, some reality TV show. But you know, this is right here. Me and my lovely co-host Casey back together again to talk about the challenge season forty, about the errors. We're on episode seven, right? Episode seven. Yes. Episode seven, and I'm gonna start off straight off from the back. Like this was a straightforward episode. Like not a whole lot happened in this episode, which you know. I think what's like you're bound to get one of those episodes with the challenge, so it's not like anything crazy, not drama. If I mean some drama happened, it was like you know some uh, light work drama. <laughs> it, it was it was some light work drama. Yes, definitely. I feel like they were like pulling it out of their butts this episode with the drama. Yeah, it was. But I mean, like I said, come to think of it, has there ever been like? In these season, the challenge where it's like you know, where it's been like you know a straightforward episode. They've had one. Of, they have a few of those episodes in every season, I believe. Definitely, yes. Yeah, I don't think anything too crazy. So I mean, like you know, it is what it is. But like without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing we did was you know pretty much they celebrate Devin's birthday, right? Yeah, that was fun. That, that was, was like I was literally sitting there just, like, smiling. I was like, that was so much fun. Everybody was having fun. And here's the thing, too. And I hate to bring this up. If that was the old Kara, would they be partying? I don't know. But it was nice to see Kara actually doing the uh, the, the speech. Was I didn't know it was Kara at first. I'm like, where is Kara? Oh, she dressed up. I'm like, where is her red hair? I was looking for Kara's red hair for the whole entire time. I'm like, damn, is she not partying? Until I watched the episode again, I'm like, oh, she gave the speech. Yeah, she was funny. Like, that was funny, what yes. she was saying. That was really good. Yeah, it normally she's, like, in her room, in her corner, by herself, her only child well, syndrome. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Now, I'll, I'll defend her for this point, right? When they were mad at her for not celebrating Jordan and uh, Tori's engagement little thing at the Wars Awards 2, I'm going to say this. If I don't like you, I ain't gonna celebrate something that, like, you know, I mean, I ain't gonna celebrate your day if mm-hmm. I don't like you. I understand it's the challenge house, but people say, keep it real, right? She kept it real. Like I said, if I don't like you, why would I celebrate something that's your day? I'm like, I'm gonna, I am, I ain't gonna do that shit. I mean, yeah, we're stuck in the same house, but like, she kept it a bunk. She doesn't fuck with them now. Obviously, they're cool now. I think they're friends now, but like, you know, at the time, it's like, yo, like, I don't like you. I'm not going to celebrate you. So it's like, I don't feel as though I understand I'm being a car defender right now, but it's like, if I don't fuck with you, I ain't going to celebrate anything that means anything to you, you. Like, why would I be there? I mean, I agree, but the environment that they were in, like, that was a happy mm-hmm. moment, and she brought it down for them. That's not cool. You don't do that to people. You just but, don't do that to people. But here's the thing, though, right? Would it be so if she was there, right? How would you feel? Because it's not like she wants to be there. She's like, Yeah, I'm just here. Like, it's like, I'm congratulating you, but not really. Hey, congratulations. She didn't congratulate them. She was putting no, she it down it. from no, the she, beginning. No, she did it. She did, but it's like her being there and saying, Hey, congratulations. Fuck you still. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was like, like, that would have been better than the way she acted. Like, congratulations, happy for you, but fuck you still. Like, that I would have taken. Better than me, what she did, honestly. To me, that doesn't mean that that means that's a fake thing. Like, don't tell me congratulations and say fuck you right after to me. Like, no, like I said, if if you don't like me, don't be in my event. That's simple as that. Because I know what you're trying to do, you're doing that fake energy, but like that's not a here or there. But nonetheless, <laughs> she did a speech right there. So shout the car. The MVPs of the party were Ryan and Derek. They oh were the MVPs. Like, without further, without further question. Like, even though that's not like I don't go that way, but like they were the MVPs of that party right there. They were. They did fantastic. It was fabulous. It was like it was funny. Like everything it was, was actually just like funny. Nothing went too far. Like it was all just like good fun. It was a great party it made they're, me happy they're trying to get some votes <laughs> they're, trying yeah, get, right. they're trying to get some votes right there and what did jordan say i never been to a bachelor party or whatever <laughs> yeah. like, that's super super <laughs> he was like but i will get i will go to this strippers next time i am it was funny <laughs> yeah. it was very fun but everyone had a good time you know 
Michelle says, I think me and her are gonna make it Facebook official. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I haven't heard that in such a long time, right? I haven't heard that shit in a minute. Because back in the day, like it ain't official, it's just Facebook official. Mm-hmm. It's sure real. Now people just don't put anything out on social media, I'm, which bro, honestly, I feel so like a healthy relationship. It's like not so you don't have to post, but it's like if you blatantly sp- Every time, every time, every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. Like, I have two of my best friends. They're married. They don't really post anything together on social, which I think that's a healthy relationship, honestly. Like, they've been married for a couple of years now. It's going strong. So it's like, you know, if, if they don't want to post their shit on social, don't, don't, don't let it let it be. Or like, don't make a fuss about it. Like, you know, my whole life is not social media, which, I mean, you want, you want to make some money off of that. But, like, you know. I don't want to get too personal with social media, which back in the day I did. I think we all did when we all post like, you know, emotional uh, messages and shit like that. We've all fell into the trap of the social media consciousness feelings and shit like that. I look back at it. God, I'm like, damn, I was a fucking idiot. Oh my God. You should. I, I look back at my memories on Facebook. I was like, oh my God. Like, shut up, Casey. Like, Even shut so- up. Even some dumb comments that I made, they made things awkward. I'm like, every time I have that embarrassing moment, I'm just like, I'm like I don't want to think about it right there. I don't want to think about it. funny that. because now, like, if I need, if I feel the need to, like, put something on social media, I'll put it in my Samsung notes on my phone <laughs> and I'll never post it. But there's just, like, notes in my phone of things that I just want to say, but I can't. <laughs> you hear that, folks? She said her Samsung notes. Which means she's a Samsung yeah. user. I'm an she, Android. She an Android. We're, we're, we're Androids. We don't, we don't. We don't. We don't use that. Uh, that stupid ass Apple shit. <laughs> never. I will I, never. I will never have an iPhone. I will never, never have an iPhone. No. No. I am a Sam Android girl for life. If Android yeah. were to stop doing what they were doing, I'd probably not have a cell phone. I'd be like, well, I'm going back to <laughs> to a landline. You got to call my house. <laughs> Yeah, might, might as well. You might as well. Or Google Note. Or Google, Google Note Pass or some shit like that. You could use those. Yeah, but you could use those. I would you not could. have a cell phone. I'd have a note. I'd, I'd be using yeah. a notebook, and you'd have to call me on my house phone. <laughs> do you remember? It, but do you have call ID though? At least. Boxes. She took a while to answer that right there. Like, oh I think my that's God. a no. I think no. that's a no right there. <laughs> I think that's a no. But let's get right into it. Um, after the party, or I don't know if sure it was before, after the party, Rachel talked to Nehemiah, and Nehemiah looked mad. But, like, Nehemiah has to understand, you know, like, like he, like, Rachel, I mean, uh, Derek and Ryan, they're friends with Rachel. So you know they're they don't want to they don't want to like ru- hurt their relationship right there. So like you know, yeah, I just I agree a hundred percent. I feel like Rachel over explains herself a lot. You didn't have to explain it right there. You didn't, you didn't really it w- it was it was nothing to be said right there. But I think the problem is now with Badass, it's like. He would have been nominated before should not be a target again. Not nominated, but people that have been targets recently should not be targeted again. He was so mad the fact that you know Ryan's been scamming by through being a target, which I get it to a certain degree. It came in where it's like, you know, it's always me and me and me and my me and my and, and it's always us being a target. It's like, hey, you know what? St- step up. It- it's your time to do that. But they got relations in the house right there. And we all say it's about making relationships. Not great. Like I said, I get both sides. It can be annoying. That's why I feel as though it was cool for Eric Three to do the whole rotation thing, which we'll get into a little bit later, right there. Like, like I said, you gotta step up eventually. So I like, I like that. Which I mean, like I said, I get both sides. Like, it can be and annoying, but it's like, yo, Ryan has relationships. Even and though I, go ahead, I'm so sorry. Well, which I mean, which. Every time we say relationships, is the reason why I get so mad with All Star Sport because I believe Car got screwed in that one and old damn relationship shit. But it's like, nah, not that type of way. It's like, oh, where I even if I lose, I still have to determine the winner. Like I just, which this is the same that's going on. See, 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 see. That's what makes me nervous about this season right now. It's the final because the losers are like basically 
helping the people when it's like if you're limited you gotta go like i'd rather have a redemption house than have people vote Mm -hmm. i agree i agree and also i'm not one to go against bananas but it's just funny that he would be like oh he's you know sliding under the radar like bananas you did that for like 20 years bro like there were times where you never went into elimination you (laughs) never got nominated so it's just like funny that he's like yeah, yeah no, no. J- J- bad, but that's just a hypocrite absolutely he, he is an he is the biggest hypocrite like i said everybody's a hypocrite in this thing everybody i i don't know any challenger that's ever been honest throughout the whole entire challenge career like everybody has a lie i don't think there's ever been a person that's been like, I'm dealing with this true and true. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie and shit like that. Like I mean, for God's sake, we had a season called Dirty 30. <laughs> right. For God's sake, we had a season called Dirty 30, guys. Like, and vendettas. Like we had that whole trio of like Yeah, but final record was booty juice though. Yeah. Like, you know, like final record could have been so much better. It could have been. been so much better. It was a booty juice season, but you know, but Eventually, Ryan and Bananas did conf- Bananas did confront Ryan about that, but uh, that's gonna be a little bit later. But we pretty much head straight to the daily, right? It wasn't mm-hmm. like it was pretty straight. It was pretty quick with this one. So, Casey, as you do so well all the time, please explain to us today's daily challenge. The challenge was called Leap of Faith, and basically, the the cha- four challengers from each team had to run and jump off a 560-foot building. Um, that was pretty high up. Let's just it was say very that. high. Yeah, and then they had to grab, like, flags that were hanging. And um, once everybody got the flags, they had to hook them onto boxes. And then the last person that went had to get the uh, puzzle pieces out of each box and put them over to where the puzzle is. And then the people who didn't jump had to complete a puzzle. If you missed a flag when you jumped, there was a two-minute penalty. If you grabbed two flags when you jumped, there was a five-minute penalty. But also, if you did grab two flags, one had to be the red flag. And that gives you a three-minute. That removes three minutes from your time. Um, Yeah. So that's what it was. So since era one only had four people, everyone had to jump. Um, In era two, it was bananas, Laurel, Nehemiah, and Aviv who had to jump off the building. Wait, but hold on, but hold up, hold up, case before you go on. Sorry, we only had one puzzle solver though, and that and that was Tina. Ah, yeah, for yep, for era one, Tina had to. Which I felt bad for because I feel so now it's like okay, now the numbers are really are not in your favor right there. Even though, like, maybe some people can build a puzzle better when it, when they're by themselves, but it's like there's a clear advantage point right there. I agree. I don't know I why they did it. that. Like, I yeah, don't. That... I thought. I I don't know. I I really don't know. But go on, my friend. <laughs> and then error three was Devin, Jordan, Tori, and Naya. They had to jump. And then error four was Josh, Jenny, Casey, and Theo. So those were the people that had to jump. And error four did go first. Yes. Josh was the first one to jump. He got I, did, he, did he get one flag or two flags? I can't remember. He got one flag. He got I one. swore <laughs> that he was going to screw this up. I was literally screaming at my TV like, Josh, you have a, ch- a shot here to like redeem yourself. You better get a flag. Like wait, I wait, was redeem himself from what? From my disappointment. Like just from my constant disappointment in Josh. Casey, it's too late to redeem himself after that. You're right. You're <laughs> the right. only chance he can redeem himself is if he somehow gets someone to get bananas eliminated. Like, yeah. like no, like, like no, like you just you think he performed well was gonna like redeem himself? Hell no! He missed the golden opportunity to set into big guns. So like. The only redemption he'll do is if he is another he's in another position of power to do it again. And if he has bananas and um 
Laura on a silver platter, serve that shit. Uh Uh-huh, you're right. I used the wrong (laughs) word. Not redeem himself, but, like, make me not be, like, sitting here on the podcast, like, oh, Josh, again. Like, he actually, like, jumped and got a flag. But what's so funny is that Theo, Casey, and Jenny were taking some time, which, by the way, I think maybe it's just me. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to say any shots to Kylan, but I feel as though the strongest people. I feel as though those are like the strongest people. I, I don't know. I mean, Kylan's strong too, but it's like okay. I, I, okay, okay. Maybe Kylan is there. Maybe even more strong people. But I feel as though it's like those are like your tough, your strongest girls at least. Those are your, definitely your strongest girls, right? But my God, they were taking forever to get this guy up there. Like, damn, Josh, you fat. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah like he he they well also like i feel like they were only using their arms where you saw yeah. the other, like even when josh got back up there like they were walking yes. all, all the way across the the roof so yes they were they were so yeah they didn't know but that took some time though but what kind of annoyed me was that michelle was like hey guys i'm on the line right now it's like I think we know that, Michelle. Like, you don't have to make it about you right now. Like, Kyle understands that, too. We don't see Kylan, like, you know, screaming and shit like that. I mean, we're just sitting here trying to pull a 200-something-pound man up a building. Like, shut up, Michelle. <laughs> like, 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 come on. You, you want to you wanna, you wanna try? You want to go? You want to trade spaces with, uh, with uh, Jenny or Casey? I'm pretty sure you'll make it a little bit worse for them. She'd probably fall. She'd probably fly off the roof if trying to pull up Josh <laughs> off the. Yeah. Oh my god. But, but what I find so funny, like I, I, we're not gonna go by each single one, but they were doing good, right? But I love when I got to the puzzle. I literally say, I'm just getting a tan. I literally knew it was up. She had been there. Yeah, I ain't doing shit. I'm believe it to Michelle and Kyler right there. Like, like I mean, she kept, she kept it being right there. Literally was telling no lies. Yeah, I mean, she kept it real. That's what she did. Like. I like by, Olivia. I like by, her. By the way, let me tell you something right now. Olivia, I've seen her in person. I think I told you about that the one night when they were in Philly. She is stunning. Like, she's already pretty, but like seeing her in person, like Olivia is stunning. She I agree. is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Like, oh, my. I was so nervous to, like, you know, to get a picture of her. Like, every time I see people that I admire, where it's social media, reality TV, obviously, you know, movies are and shit like that. We always get nervous when we meeting people like that. And I'm just like, God, she's right there. She is still like, she looked stunning that night. Oh my God. Yeah. I love yes. Olivia. I've liked her since she was on Love Island. I watched her season of Love Island and she was my favorite on there. Do you think her and Aaron Aris can ever like re- like reconcile what happened? Because I'm not gonna lie, like even though I like Olivia, I don't like what she did to Aris in that season. I don't think they're ever gonna be challenge besties, but I, I think like in like, real ups- life. Well, well, if they're real, well, no, I mean, well, I'll get. I guess, and we could be cool in the challenge, but like, I meant like outside of the challenge, though. Yeah, I think they'll be fine. I think. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah, no, like I said, they did a good job. Who was next? Was it Error 3? It was Error 2. Error 2. Was next. Mm-hmm. And uh, who were the jumpers for that one again? It Laurel, Bananas. Bananas, Laurel, Nehemiah, and Aviv. And everybody did well. Paris went like Aviv was short. Yeah, like she was freaking out. She's like, I am five feet tall. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to jump and reach these flags. And then from what they look on the TV through editing, the flags are being blown in the other uh, uh in the uh further away too. So it's like this is gonna be tough for her right now. And I'm like, I'm saying please let her do it. I said, Y'all know I'm cheering for I'm cheering for everyone and ever two. But if Jordan wins from Area 3. I won't be mad. And Area 4, yeah, whatever. Not to say I don't like them. It's just like, you know, like, I don't have many favorites on that side right there. I'm going to just say that. So I'm just like, Aviv, man, you got, you got, please this, please this. And Aviv got it. Aviv yes. got it. I was very, very happy for her right there. And it's like, 
Well, damn. And, oh, yeah. By the way, guys, they're randomly. I don't know if you chose said this. They're randomly chosen. Mm-hmm. It's not like they picked who was going to jump or who did the puzzle. They were randomly chosen. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to just say that Car- Kara and Dare killed on the puzzle right there. Mm-hmm. And, they and, killed like, it. They, and, you know, but now... I literally <laughs> wrote, killed it in my notebook. <laughs> let me let me kill, killed it. Killed but that's it. Ex- exactly those words. Killed it. I don't know if I you can see it. See it. Right? I see it killed right it. there. Killed it, yes. <laughs> killed it right there. I like it. I like that. But Ryan didn't really do anything <laughs> to my <my> style. <laughs> yeah. Which which only gets with that which finesse like what kind of shit is that? <laughs> that was a good one. There or he's like you see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it right there. So you see this shit. So yeah. So who was next on that one? Um, and then it was era one. And Tina, 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 Tina. She grabbed she two got, flags, but not the right, not the uh, not the. She got the wrong the two red, flag. Mm-hmm. And that's so a there's five a five minute penalty. Minute penalty right there. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Everyone, that can never, never, ever catch a break. And the biggest thing we can have from that is that Darrell finally conquered his fears of the heights. Because he said in his challenge, career, he has never done a height challenge. No, not like that. Like. He's done some stuff, but nothing. He never jumped off a building. The last time he was supposed to do it, he, he didn't do it. So that was an all stars. Mm-hmm. Very proud of Darrell. Like I, I shed a tear because as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh no!" Like the challenge, like poor Darrell. Like, uh he doesn't do. Do you hype. think had it not, it, which I think it would, it would, it still been fucked up. But do you think that through the amount of people that they've had, TC did it? Do you think that had they had had they had like you know their full team, he he would have made, he would have done the jump? I don't think so. I don't know. If he I, didn't have to, I I don't think he would have. But like, they I had thi- to win. I think. See, it's easy to say that, but I feel as though you know that you have teams that are tars that could potentially be going in. I feel as though he probably would do it. Yeah, he was the target. Maybe. Due to due to the circumstances, I think. Yeah. I think due to the circumstances. Either way, I'm very proud of him. He I'm very, very proud good. of him too. And I felt bad. Tina did the puzzle by herself. Yeah. She kind of froze up for a little bit right there. I'm just like, damn, yo, like she missed a piece. She had a piece like stuck in the side that she didn't get. Yes, that is true. Tina. That's true. Tina. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was like like I said, everyone cannot get a break. And it's like, damn. What is going on with them right now? It's like, it's like, damn! It's like, what? It's is it old age? Because I feel as though some of these performers they can do well. They're just I I haven't really seen much where it's like age was a factor in these challenges. I mean, I feel like it's luck at this point because it's like poor Derek. He's working with one knee. He has a bum knee, and then. I don't even understand how CT lost that elimination. Like, that was just, like, what? I just, I think it's, like, bad luck. I think it's bad circumstances. I think the fact that Era 3 and Era 4 are working together. And Era 2 is not a team that you can really, like, depend on. Like, it's Laurel and Kara and Bananas. Like, they don't. They're gonna look out for themselves in the game. Yeah. Oh, so I just feel like it's just era one, just put in a crappy position every week. I would, and I was hoping that era one and era two would work together. It, it would seem right. Derek even said it himself that yo, era three and era four are working together. Well, not everybody in era three and era four, but most of them. I mean, mm-hmm. after what happened last week, I don't think Corey fucks with them right there. Which no. saw Josh hugging him at the beginning of the episode too. I know. And then Corey was like, screw them. Like, which is true. Like, I feel bad for Corey. I love seeing Corey. I'm so happy that he's back. But I just feel like it's the same story with him. People keep, like, he puts his trust in people. He'd have these people's back. And then they don't do the same in return. Like, somebody's always, like, before Corey. And it just sucks for him. 
I really, 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 really wish Nelson was on the season. Oh, I know. That oh my god yeah Nelson and Corey on TV together it, it's it's great for uh, reality oh, team right there, but luckily he's he's doing okay after what happened and whatnot so you know he's still working out honestly it's almost like nothing even happened to him it seemed like I know like I I follow him on all his socials and yeah he's he's doing really well I'm I'm happy that he's kind of coming back from that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if he'll ever be back on the challenge. Cause oh no! With, with no with that no no that that's that that's you no know, that will never happen. That will never yeah. happen. I I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that that I just don't see that ever happening. Yeah, never, never it happen. makes me sad. I mean, I get it. Like what he did was wrong, and he like yes, yeah, other yeah, people have yeah. been punished for doing the same thing. It just, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I saw, like, the interviews and stuff that he did with Nani, and, like, he, he t- he's taking accountability for what he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so, which I don't want to talk too much on that, but, yeah, he's got to have a response, accountability on, on what happened, he, like yes. he does. He does, but, Ness, um I Nelson. I love Nelson. <laughs> so, error one did, now we have error three, which, yeah. honestly, I feel as though, like, the people that you think will do the puzzle... Did the jump in? Did the uh jump in? Did the puzzle? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it was it was Devin, Tori, Jordan, and Naya yeah. that had to jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was just like, and then you had Avery and Corey doing the puzzle. I don't want to say that they're like dumb at all, but they're not like the the smartest people in the room, right there. No, not at all. <laughs> Poor Corey and puzzles. I just. I, I think back to it was a uh, ah what, what season champions. was it? Yes, that, oh my god! That, that, he had a shot to win that. He did. Puzzle would just killed him. Oh my god! It was awful. It was awful. He got delayed twice. I can't and fuck and fuck him out. Should have won that shit too. Had I been for the puzzle right there. Mm-hmm. But fuck Camilla though. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, fuck like, her. Fuck, fuck her. her. Yeah, yeah forever. I agree Fuck with her that. forever. Fuck her forever. Yeah, like she's uh, one that we don't ever want back. No, and yet she still won that shit even after what just happened right there. Uh, uh, she still. Uh, won. She that still literally won. makes me want to punch a hole through the wall. Yeah, and then like, and Jemmy, she's not one of my favorite people, but she said y'all got mad at us for throwing a, for throwing Kayla's a uh, Kayla's uh bed. But y'all ain't do shit when uh Camilla talks shit on Lou right there. Y'all ain't do shit on that part where mm-hmm. there was no lies right there. Mm-hmm. There were no lies. There were no lies. No lies. Which which I don't like what I don't like what Jimmy and the girls did. Don't wrong, I don't like what they did, but it's like y'all should have worse energy for Camilla. Y- y- y'all should have. I agree. You really should. You really should. But all of our errors performed, and unfortunately. Well, Aaron Wall caught a little bit, of, a little bit of a break today. Then they come in last place, even with the delay. Aaron yeah. came in last week because they were trying to car- carry Josh's fat ass up there. <laughs> it was it was it was it was them pulling up Josh. Yeah, like that's why Aaron Ford lost. G two. Yep. And their and their poor strategy too. So that's all known for fucking that up right there. That is on them. But it came down to. Error uh, three and error two. It was by a minute, they said. Yep. Mm-hmm. By a minute. The winners were error three. So shout out to uh, Avery and Corey for finishing that puzzle. I know. Like, literally, that's what it was. That's what did it. Yeah, that's what did it. That's mm-hmm. what did it. So here's the thing. So then Naya and Jordan had a decision to make, right? Naya is, like, conflicted because... She's friend. She said she's she's friends with Tina, but she's really close to Nehemiah. So it's like she knows she's gonna make one person mad for whoever who she, who she picks. Mm-hmm. I don't love her. Yeah. I, I I and she's also cuddling up with uh, Kylan too. So it's like it's see what I like about the season is that even though we have power, you might not even want the power. You're like, damn, I gotta make a decision right now. Fuck right now, like. They, 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 it's it's like it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Now, Rachel is kind of bleed like, hey, you know what? We're already bleeding. Why why send us in? You know what I saying? We're already losing. So it's like, why, you know, put the nail in on the coffin right now? Why why like you see us hurting? 
So why do it? But I'm saying, I might as well, I'm like, well, if you guys are hurting, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I might as well love you guys. It's like, hey, you know, y'all already losing. So, you know, let's get you guys out of here right now. As much as I hate it, as much as I hate to see Era 1 go out like that, that seems to be like the best option. Mm-hmm. For, for, I mean, for, well, for what's stood on the table for right now. Now, if this was, you know, another Benaz and Laurel thing, yeah, let's throw them in right there. Oh, absolutely. 100%. But, well, 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 I don't know because Jordan and, and Laurel, that's, that's, uh, Jordan, Jordan's friends of Laurel. So I don't think, yeah, that's uh, Jordan, you got to put bananas up, even if it, even <laughs> if that involves Laurel. Like, well, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, so at the liberation, it was. I mean, nothing really. I mean, Colin just says, you know, I'm coughing. I'll come back in the house right now. It's like, yo. So he's like, yo, I'm made for this shit right now. So I mean, no, there's nothing really much to say, really. Yeah, they. I mean, they talked about um Tina being from um. The. Where they're Vietnam, Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. So she touched on that personal stuff a little bit, which is funny for Tina because she doesn't usually do mm-hmm. that. Um, so that's really that's all that yeah. was going in there. Pretty much. But now I think I'm not sure this is before after deliberation. They go out and the and the highlight of them going out was Corey, Devin, and Jordan talking about, hey, you know, for the rotation, hey, Devin, you're up. So if Michelle wins, you got not make set right now, which I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Corey is right. We the like, majority said, "Hey, we did this rotation, so you're not be like, you know, well, I went in this minute and said, no, we're doing our rotation. You gotta do it, but you gotta do it right." Now, Devin is like, "Well, you know, I'm seeing Michelle right now. We're that's my girl right now, so it's like, why would she want to do that?" Which I get Corey's frustration, but I'm gonna just say this, Devin. You can't say people being shady. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and work by like by not by not doing a vaunts by not doing a uh, rotation thing. You can't like you said you say Lewis plays a shady game, which I'm not saying this is shady, but it's like bro, we knew what we signed up for, we knew what we agreed on, so you do the rotation. Mm-hmm, a hundred percent. But if I was them, I would say the same thing too, though. I mean, but also, and again, I can't even believe I'm like. I mean, I want to stick up for Corey all the time. But also, even if I were Michelle and he was like, I'm going to not self-nominate, I'd still be like, no, I'm not saying your name. Like, I'm the one that has the power. Exactly. Like, I'm the one that has the power. You can say you're going to self-nominate all you want, but I'm still not going to say your name because I want you here, Devin. That so, is true. That is very, very true. But... I I get uh I get uh uh Corey's frustration. I a hundred percent. It definitely is. It definitely is annoying. It definitely is annoying. So before uh Benaz and Ryan's argument, we had uh uh Devin. We had not said that. We had a uh, Jordan and uh not my weird name right there. <laughs> oh, by the way. Avery said, "Shout out to my shout out to my real world cast. I don't want I don't want uh Nia Andrew to go. Which I, which shows that yes, Avery and Nia are cool now after what happened at, on their season right now. Because I think that was the last time they saw each other was you know at the real uh, world big fight. Yeah, and they were they were fighting that season. Which by the way, I'm surprised that they didn't kick them out. I know. I That's know. It's been a challenge rule. You hit somebody, you gotta go." Mm-hmm. Which I never got where it's like the person who hit me first you know, hits me first should go home. If I react to it, I shouldn't be going home either. Like you hit me, it's a natural reaction for me to hit back. I I agree with that to a point because then there has to be a responsibility for de escalation, mm-hmm. like as adults. Um so I just think that like if you're defending yourself and hit back, but I think sometimes, like even Derek, like when Nelson, oh, when Nelson hit Derek, like you see Derek like defend himself, but sure. like de-escalates the situation by walking away. 
True. So, like, I just feel like to it to an extent, yes. Um, but I also think that you have to take responsibility and de-escalating and getting yourself out of a situation instead of yeah, yeah, point there. More violence. Yeah, you, you got a point there. I, I agree to that. I agree to that. But uh, yeah. So shout out to Avery for uh, for shouting out Jordan and I. But Jordan and I told Tina that hey, it's gonna be you and Darrell. Mm-hmm. And Tina got mad about it. I think she just it was just in the moment right now. It was in the moment because Ryan using logic words, he says, "Yo, Nehemiah and her are close. That's like that's like you know Rachel choosing someone else over." She isn't choosing someone else than me because me and Rachel are tight like that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, you have to understand that. So I just think uh, Tina was in a moment, which, by the way, Tina and, and I are cool. You see them on social media talking, doing video chats and whatnot. So they're cool with one another. So, like, I don't think this was like a built it, like a long lasting, um, this, this, um, anger towards each other right there. So they were still cool with one another after that. So I didn't. Yeah. So I didn't really take anything. I didn't. Think, I didn't take anything seriously from that. Honestly, Mm-mm, not at all. Like I feel like, I mean, Tina had every right to be upset, and yeah, but I don't think anything is gonna last. Like, yeah, not but just- but Naya knew too. Naya knew like what else could I do right there? Mm-hmm. Like her. Like I didn't know that her and Nehemiah were that close. I do. I do know they showed. They talked about it in, in All Star Super Three. I didn't know they were actually like that close right there. So, so it's like so it's like you know. She ain't gonna choose her. She ain't gonna choose Nehemiah. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You gotta make a choice. You made a choice, and mm-hmm. I like that she was unapologetic for it. She's like, you know what? Like, I have the power. I have to make a choice. If if you want to be mad about it, be mad about it. But yeah, it's that's the game right there. Unfortunately, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then you know we have Ryan and uh Jordan. Not Ryan and um. Bananas have their argument right there. It'd be an absolute, like, well, don't worry, me, me and uh, Nehemiah are going to carry a team, but Derek said it perfectly right now. It's like, yo, back in the other challenges, Bananas will have the numbers, but it doesn't work like that. It's not our fault that we have. We have we have six girlfriends, and they'll never vote for, they'll never let her vote us, and it's like, yo, Derek's making facts right now. Mm-hmm. Derek's spinning fire. Yep. Derek's spinning fire. He's spinning bars. It is what it is, and I love Derek. Derek is great. Like I've seen like such a different side to him since he's come back to the challenge. It's so great to see that in Derek. But yeah, he's telling the truth. I'll say this though. I give Dick I give Derek more credit and I give Ryan credit because like I said, in All Stars four, he had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to get a star. And he never ever stepped up. So like he ain't got something he ain't gonna nominate himself right now. He ain't doing that, which by the way, I think we can all agree. Nominate yourself is bad. It's not good, but I guess for your team, if you do this whole rotation thing, like it sucks for John A, but like it just would have looked bad if she didn't nominate herself. It it, it just would have. Mm-hmm. It really, really would have. So I mean, you know, unfortunately, that's the game though. Like that's like Derek, like Derek and Ryan are playing a game right now. They have relationships. They do. Yeah. So I mean, but like I said, Banana's been doing this shit for a very long time. Now when you're on the other side of it, it doesn't feel so good, does it? And yeah, like that's my whole thing. Like if the tables were turned, first of all, I don't think Era Two ever had the conversation amongst their team. Like, okay, we'll take turns. Like Never I don't recall that, no. that conversation happening. And even if it did, bananas would not go for it. There's no, no way that bananas would be like, Oh yeah, we're gonna take turns. It it would never happen. It would never happen. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Unless now he's the one that's you know getting the shit end of it. Like, yeah, he's being exactly. a hypocrite. He's being a hypocrite. Oh, I You're... love you, Johnny Bananas. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how. I mean, that's it. He's one of the biggest hypocrites in challenge history. It, like I said, when it happens to him, it's like fuck everybody, pretty much. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I said, um, nothing too much to say after that. I think we just we just, just you know, I know Rachel's like she's mad about this shit now, but it's like nothing too much that had to be said that was remembered. So I guess we can go on to the elimination. Yes, the elimination was called a boxster phobia. So each person had to get through this like, mm-hmm. like I don't know wall. 
It was like, kind of like a wall with like layers, so it was kind of like a box, but it was really thin box. Yeah, yeah, right, thin had, box. Yeah, yeah, and they had like bars through it, and like they had to move the bars to squeeze through the walls and mm-hmm. to get to the other side. And then on each of the walls was a number, so there was a math equation that they had to be doing while they're trying to get through these little tiny spaces. Yeah. See, when it comes to math, well, basically, it also you said. Hope you're not claustrophobic because it's a very, very tight thing. Which Storm for the X Men, she would not be happy about that. No. <laughs> Storm would not like that. If all my comic fans know Storm is claustrophobic, she does not like tight spaces. Mm-mm. Storm does not like that. Nah, uh, 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 uh. But I'm gonna say this. I'm not saying I can't do math, but when I don't have it right in front of me, it's hard for me to do math in my head right there. I'm. Never- You just sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, sorry. No, there you go. yeah, I'm not a very fast thinker when it comes to math, like in my head. Like I, I have to write out a piece of paper for me, honestly. I mean, I'm pretty good at math, like up to a point. I'd get confused if like <laughs> it was out of order or like there were parentheses and I'd be like, Oh my god, I have to do the parentheses first, first then multiplication. Yeah. Please, like please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm like, oh <laughs> well, for that shit. Even stuff I see on social media, it's like, do you, like, how do you want the answer to this? Like, I don't, like, do you want me to do, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or do I do it in order? Like, it all depends I, on how you want the problem solved. I don't want Devin roasted me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want Devin roasted me. I mean, I don't know my math because I remember his spies on Alex. He was like, How did you not do your math? How are you? How did you get here? <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> I would not want Devin roasted me, honestly. I don't. No. I don't. But uh, first, we had uh, Michelle and Tina. And I. Were they neck and neck? I honestly, I watched them once. I didn't want. I didn't want, want to watch it again. I was, just, I was just catching up my notes. I'm like, okay, I don't know what happens. I don't like watch this child, this el- elimination again. Honestly, I did the same exact thing. Like, I did not watch it the second time I came in and with my dining room and was doing puzzle. Um, because we're not, we're not gonna spoil. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna share. Code. Like, uh, Michelle won, but I just don't remember if they were close or not. They, it was pre- I mean, it seemed close because at yeah. first, like, Tina got through the box first. Yeah, but they have to ne- know the answer to the code and everything mm-hmm. like that. So it's like, well, it's like, oh, my God, I got out first. You still have one. You, you still have to do the second part. So, like, yes. it's not a guaranteed victory that you're going to win this thing. Yes. But then I saw them walk. Eat, both of them went, like, back and forth to, like, did, yeah. figure out what it was. It so, oh, Yeah. But yeah. Michelle, Michelle, won. Michelle won, but here's what surprised me though. I texted you, I texted you about this before. I thought Tina was gonna win. Mainly yeah. because in the trailer, she's like screaming to somebody, the wonder nobody likes you. And I'm like, who's she saying that to? And I guess that was a deleted scene, I guess. Like yeah. I'm wondering who did she say that to? Or maybe that's maybe that's later on through in the season. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. So I maybe. really, 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 really do not know what happened there. So now we have uh, the the second elimination: Darrell against Kylan. I mean, Kylan beat Darrell last uh, last season. At, well, which uh, Ky- uh, Darrell was a mercenary or whatever like that, mm-hmm. and uh, Kylan beat him. And in this elimination. Darrell got out of the cage first. We did his math. He was trying to clear the fucking sand. I'm like, yeah, he, oh. Like, he's spending time trying to make space in the sand to do math. And you have Kylan, who they call the... Hu- they literally said we call him the human calculator in the house. Yeah. And you are spending time... <laughs> Getting down, like, okay, I'm 30, I'm in my 30s, okay? Same. Darrell is not, like, much older than me, okay? (laughs) I'm not going to get on the ground if I have to get up off the ground in a matter of, like, 
milliseconds. Like, I just feel like that wasted so much time. It's like how he did it, though. He was and wanted to be clean. It's like, just put it right there. Like, cause I'm not going to lie. When I, like I said, when I do math, I can't remember all in my head. I got to, like, write it out or like that. But it does take time. It does, it is, it does waste time. But he was taking too much time. I feel as though once he got, he feels like he probably had us in the bag right there. Mm-hmm. Which I'm like, no, because by the time you took your time trying to clear the sand, Kylan got out and yeah. was able to steal that win from you right there. He put that number right in. He, he put it right in. in. Right in. Mm-hmm. And that look at the demolish and defeat for uh for Darrell right there. He looked really, really defeated right there. Yeah. I mean, that and, sucks. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this right now, and it kills me. It, it really kills me. I think Darrell's has lost it, man. Like, he has not been the same. He just hasn't, like... Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, him and Janelle got screwed in All-Stars mm -hmm. 2. Yeah. Let's keep it a being on that. So I guess he probably wants redemption from that, but it's like, I love Darrell, but it's like, does he need to call it quits right now? It's just... It, Haley hasn't been in his favor these past couple of seasons. Mm -mm. No. I don't know. I mean, even though I don't think that challenge had, had anything to do with age, but it's like, he just, you know, I haven't yeah. really seen much of him lately. I know. I feel like there's some points where it's like, he's not fully there. Like, he probably wants to go home and be with his family and his kids. And then there's times where it's like, you do see, like, the old Darrell and he's really trying and he like gives his all. Like, I feel like that inconsistency is what's like killing him. I want to see Darrell in like in a physical animation because he's one of the best physical animations because he beat Zach in Invasion of Champions with that. Was it pole wrestle? Yeah. Like he like, see, now I feel bad seeing all this shit about Darrell because now I'm thinking about I'm like, dang, Darrell's a really good <laughs> Darrell's a really good competitor. Mm -hmm. now, right, he, he did hurt his back, but he said they got. He, it said he healed up. Yeah, he, he said, said he healed at the up. Beginning of the episode, he was like, "I feel good. Like my back's all better. My knees feel good. Like I feel good." Actually, I got to speak about Darrell after we discuss the uh, the uh, new targets. Which which let's come back on with Darrell. Let's get back to like the main thing. So new targets, obviously Rachel and Derek. Uh, what, what else can you do? There are only two, right? Yep. Uh, Error two, uh, Kylan chose Kara, and um, Michelle chose Derek. And once mm -hmm. again, that pisses off Benaz right there with Ryan scanning by again. Mm hmm. Error three, we have, to no surprise, it was Corey. Yes. To no surprise, it was Corey. And for the girls, it was Avery. Yes. Avery, like, it looked, was Kyle, his, this Kyle has it to pick Avery? I think he was, but yeah, he did. You think you think he won to Tory? Possibly, but I just don't think that that would be good for their team. He might have wanted to pick Tory. It seemed like he wanted to pick Tory. Yeah, it seemed like it. It seemed like that. So for era four, we have Theo and Jenny due to. Mm -hmm. Kylan's relationship with Casey, which I didn't know he even had a relationship with Casey, but I'm not, I don't blame Jamie for being mad. I really no. don't at this point. Especially her own team. Like, that's what it, like, your own team chose you for the third time to be a target. Like, I could see if it was, like, another team. Like, okay, she could be a little less pissed off, but, like, your own team? Honestly, like, I'm not cheering for Era Four, but I want, I want Jen to be in a position of power. Cause not, not you see. Here's my concerns now, right? With for the new episode, Car is a target now. Do you think Laura's gonna try to throw it? Probably. That's what she does. That's what Laurel does. But then again, she'll screw over Derek too. So I don't think she wants to do that. Mm, she just, she just, she just uh... wants to Derek. Which I don't think he's gonna do that. That's true. I didn't even consider that. And I was questioning, oh, are we finally like, do individuals? I feel as though if um 
Derek and Rachel go home next week, I feel as though then they and they might switch to individuals. Maybe I'm hoping they do it soon. But I'm gonna say this right now: if Rachel and Derek leave, I'm call I'm just calling it right now, and I hope I'm wrong. I know it's an early, early prediction. I feel as though Laurel will probably win it if Rachel goes home because, like, I believe Carl can be there, but I just feel as though due to the due to the relationships right now in the house. I just feel as though like Laura will have the advantage over Carl. I know I know this is really, really early to say, but I don't see I'm not I don't see any of the Air Four girls winning this shit. I really don't. I think it's gonna be between either one through three. And that's that's meaning Rachel, Laura, Cara, and Tori. I agree. That's all, that I that's all I can say. But for the guys, obviously your favorites are bananas and uh Jordan, but you still got Devin there. And Era Four guys, eh. Mm. Kyla will be, well, Kyla is really putting himself in eliminations. Yes. I mean, he Kyla is, really is good. It. Yeah. Like, Kylan is good. He's good in eliminations. I feel like he's good in daily challenges. Like, Kylan has the potential to be a challenge champion. He really does. He Not really. I, don't, I mean,. But against you're in like the challenge season forty, like against those like vets, like I don't. Yeah, but here's what I want to talk about Darrell. I saw this clip on uh, TikTok today. Actually, it was of Darrell, Tina, and this one girl. Right. I'm sorry to bring up Laurel. I'm sorry to bring up Laurel again, but this this shit made me so angry right now. So he told he told basically told me more, and so he basically told 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 us more about, about the situation of him and Laurel. Mm-hmm. He basically said that like Laurel's never wrong; it's always she's always right, right? Mm-hmm. But there is a situation that happened after he chose Laurel as a target. They were going out, you know, partying or whatever. So they they went back on the bus, and someone was throwing nuts, was throwing peanuts at them, and they were thinking that it was uh that it was bananas, right? So someone they kept throwing more peanuts, more peanuts, more peanuts. And uh, Darrell, you know, got up and said, "Yo, he better stop fucking throwing peanuts, and we're gonna, or shit's gonna be, we're gonna have a problem." And Laurel just looked shocked. And it was Laurel. It was Laurel that was throwing peanuts right now, and it's like she was in. in Darrell, Darrell was saying, like, you know, I feel as though they're trying to like antagonize me to hit her right there. Bro, he, he felt that way, and it's like. Like, why is she doing that type of show? Which I don't know if it's... I'm going to go that far to say that, but it's like, why is this girl throwing pants at a grown adult right now? I'm like, he says, yeah, for, for viewers, it's entertaining for y'all, but like for me, it's like, no. Which, for me, I think, honestly, as I got older, the drama in the chest has not been... It's been whatever for me right there as I got older. Now, Grant, Grant drama still sells the show. Let's, I'm not... Let's not... Let's not... Uh, let's not bullshit about that shit, but it's like... Her doing that, I'm just like, yo, like, come on, girl. Yeah, but you don't throw food at people. Like, I yeah, feel yeah, like, yeah, that's like, yeah, like, like that's a no, like, no, like, that's being immature right there. He said mm-hmm. that was that was immature, and it just makes me more annoyed at Laura. It's like, and I'm like, damn, I really hope she doesn't win this shit. It's like, it's like I I tw- I commented on. I said, I think something is wrong with her at this point. Like, like something like she might need a therapist. Uh, yeah, she really needs a therapist. I went to a therapist. Why didn't Laurel go to a therapist? Yeah, she really needs it. She really needs it. Like, and he's and he said that I think it's the game for being on the game for that for that long. You know, that's what happens. Mm-hmm. So you know, it's a, uh, it's a, it's it's annoying. Yeah, she's it annoying. is, it is very very annoying right there. I don't I don't I don't like it, but it is what it is. But that was today's episode. Like straightforward, nothing really crazy happened in this episode. Yeah, I'm just wondering when are they going to uh, dissolve when... these teams? Yeah, because I the maybe I'm gonna say this because I'm in the moment right now, but I'm like maybe they should have over just singles because now I'm just like I'm losing so many of my favorite people right now. And so everything is a good concept. But I'm like, damn, now I kind of wish they got to singles. I know, well, because there are ones like pretty much gone. Like now, we're like, okay, we're done. <laughs> Bye. It, I, I, I don't know, Casey. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's killing me right now. I, I, I just hate seeing. I hate 
see an Arab one go out like this. I really do. Yeah. I this hate one, it too. I, I started with you guys, man. Like, come on. You're our OGs, peeps. <laughs> no, not represent, which the closest thing would be error two at that mm-hmm. point. Yeah. The closest thing would be error two. Which, god damn. Honestly, it's crazy because. Look at Eric. Mm. It seems like it, it. You would. I feel as though when it comes to Eric four, right? They're all kind of close when they when they see when the uh, challenge serve. Like Eric two, a lot of people that some of them have a kind of a huge gap between them themselves. Like the Ben and I started on the duel, which mm-hmm. was right after Fresh Meat, and then Car and Laura started Fresh Meat too. That was that was like years after, right there. Like yeah, that that was. I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Aaron just got some gap between one another right there. Like, it's true. Like, what Nehemiah was on which real world? Like, or was he road rules? Who was it? Nehemiah. Was he road world? He was real world, wasn't he? Was he? Real, world, real world Austin. That was Wes's season, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. They, they, all, they could almost pass forever one, honestly. Yeah. Some like, that's where, yeah. Like, I think that that's where I get, like, thrown off a bit, because, like, Era 3 is where, like, they threw in, like, are you uh, one, one in yeah. real world? Like, so it's just, like, getting those OG, like, real world seasons throw me off with these eras. <laughs> like, because, like, I, at Road Rules and the challenge kind of go hand in hand for me. Where the real world was a completely separate show. So it's just like so weird to think like that somebody from the (laughs) real world, Austin, wouldn't be era one. Like it's crazy. It's crazy. It it really is. I I just, I don't know what else to say right there. This is how it is. Oh, we're so old. Yeah, we are. Well, we we just. Even if Laura wants to be like, I'll be like, at least an OG one, at least, you know, keep the title safe, you know what I'm saying? So, Mm -hmm. you know. But this, I will say this, this reunion will be fire, though. It will be interesting. It will be. It will be. Didn't they already air it? The reunion? I think they think they filmed, yeah, they definitely taped it. Mm -hmm. They definitely filmed it. Okay, cool, 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 so. I kind of want to know what happened at the reunion too. I kind of want to know what happens, but mm. obviously I need to watch this full season first before I can know what happens there. But uh, yeah, that's it for this discussion today. You have any like you know last words you want to say before you head up out of here? No, I mean I'm R.I.P. Era One. <laughs> so you're already calling it. You already said they're going to go home next week too. I am. I mean, I don't like like how can you prefer only two people on your team? Yeah, like oh, uh, I feel so bad. Like like how like how 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 can they get out of this? Like how? I mean, Rachel can beat anybody there. Derek could beat anybody there if he didn't have a bum knee. That's what I'm saying, yo. Like, Derek could be but, anyone there. I don't care who it was. Like, except for but, in a puzzle. But, but Banana said this, though. It's only a matter of time before Error 3 and Error 4 erupt on one another right there. Because Error 3, you're, you're starting to see it a little bit with Corey. You're starting to see it. Error 4, you're seeing it with Jenny. So, it... it Cause yeah, cause trust me, I want people to st- I want people to step up too. I want Casey to step up because you know she never really nominated her. So, like she voted herself as team captain and on the uh, first daily, but like she never really like you know stepped up really. Which I understand volunteering yourself is is stupid, but it's like you know I want to see something. Mm-hmm. I also want to see you know Jenna giving some karma to them as well. I agree. So I mean, but like I said, that's the name of the game, though. R- relationships, which I think is kind of dumb, but you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess everyone hang in there. Please prove me. Please pull up the upset next week, please. Yeah, I'm begging y'all, please for us. 
for your OG fans, please, please pull up the upset next week. Please. Mm -hmm. I beg of you guys. I beg of you. Please. Please. Yeah. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, as always, please subscribe to my part of Knuckles family. Because this video, like, comment, share the video. It helps, you know. Be sure to follow our social media accounts in the description box below. And be sure to follow my other gaming videos I post on my channel as well, too. If you like fighting games, Marvel shit, anime, all that good stuff. Please wish to be following me. In. Actually, I'm actually going to be streaming in, in uh, about a half hour on YouTube. I'll be playing some uh, X Men Legends, so be sure to uh, tune into that, y'all. Which, by the way, no, no, no. By the time this video is posted, I'm already been streaming already. So, <laughs> yeah, this, is, this, is an off, this, this is an offline recording right now. So, yeah. <laughs> but be sure to watch it, though, still. Be sure to watch it. It'll be uh, it'll be there. Just be sure to watch it. You'll just miss the live version of it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, folks. Y'all look good night. Y'all be safe. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye. Night -night.